what is wrong with Amazon? We are like literally one day away from confirming the, you know, the previous channel. There's a lot of room down. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Happy Monday and uh, welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. I uh, hope everybody had a good trading day. Um, after uh, last week, very, very ag aggressive action uh, to the long side, to the short side. Um, like we talked about, uh, you know, like we talked about on the video um, yesterday. I again, I had really no idea what to kind of expect today. Um, I, I thought by looking at the market from kind of a, a non-biased point of view, um, it would give me a little more clarity. And that's exactly what we got today. And I thought because we had this really aggressive snapback kind of dead cat bounce on the cues to kind of close right at the 50-day moving average, uh, going into today's session uh, was a complete crapshoot. And that's, that's the, the best way uh, to describe it. Um, I wasn't long bias. I wasn't short bias. Uh, I just kind of wanted to see what happened. And the most important part about trading is sometimes the best route is just to say, look, I don't know, right? I have no idea. I'm not going to pretend to know. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to understand uh, where the next move is possibly going. Just sit, sit nice and calmly, uh, wait for price action to play out, uh, and you know, let the market dictate to us what's going to happen next. And that's exactly what happened today. Um, and the most amazing part about today's session, it actually turned out to be very, very aggressive. And the most important part, what I saw about today's session was kind of where we were technically. So we got this big gap up, okay? Really, really aggressive gap up. Um, we were up a lot pre-market, okay? And the one thing that I started watching is what happens left next. Do we get rejected uh, at big technical levels on the 60, main, 60 uh, minute moving average? Uh, or do we start reclaiming and going higher? And what crazy about this was we got a gap up into supply, right? Into supply, and then we sold off very, very aggressively. So the majority of the day, if you look at uh, the numbers today on the scoreboard, they look pretty glamorous. You had uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average up 300 something points, the composite was up over 200 points, and it looked like a very, very big aggressive market rally, and it wasn't that, okay? If you look at beta today, and that was the one thing we kept on talking about pre-market, I thought there was some names that we kind of liked, and we'll talk about that, the DraftKings, uh, the NK LA's of the world. We'll show you what we did with that in a second. But I said to myself, I really don't like beta because uh, again, everything's in the middle of the channels. And despite the cues at one point being up like $7, you could see what happened today intraday. And look at some of the names, right? Amazon went red in the day, right? Actually closed up red. They were up $60 in the day and closed red. Netflix. Now again, guys, okay. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. Okay, never claimed to be, always claiming to be the king of the idiots. I own that, okay? But what executive that's working in Netflix green-lighted that, that uh, whatever it was, documentary, what, what movie, cuties, okay? It's a pedophile movie. What person came out and said, this is a good idea, yada, 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 the stocks got hammered. Again, we'll talk about the individual pivots in a second, but you'll see them. Roku, and again, I haven't checked the news what Roku is going on after hours, but Roku is very weak throughout the day as well. Uh, Facebook as well, you can see it was red. Uh, you could you could see, for example, Facebook was red. Uh, Apple, for the most part, was red until it started spiking up uh, towards the end. So it wasn't one of those clean shots that the market was so good, and there was a broad market rally, and there was 30,000 pivots on, on, on beta. It, it, it was more methodical. We were picking our spots in the morning, uh, then Tesla confirmed, and then Zoom confirmed, and then Beyond confirmed. And there was a lot of names uh, that, you know, I usually don't trade, like an NKLA really did well. Like NKLA was a really, really good trade. And slowly but surely, we started seeing very, very good aggression. But I think the most important part, what we saw technically today, if you look at the cues, right? They gapped up above this uh, 275 level, which we talked about on the video, which is the five day moving average. And then they gave it up, okay? And kudos to the bulls, any close below that 275 level, we would have been having a completely different conversation tonight than we, we actually are. Uh, so the bulls 
lost the five day, reclaimed the five day. And as you can see here, we are closing above the 275 level, which is very, very important. Now, again, we're not out of the woods just yet. And if, again, if you look at the 60 minute moving average, you can see here for the bulls to really start shining or at least getting more more legs under them, getting a little more traction, they really gonna need to clear out this whole supply here. Somewhere around this 277, you know, at least to start, 277, but at least, again, baby steps. If you look at the S&P 500, we'll use the SPIs right now as a proxy. Again, we're not out of the woods just yet. Again, very, very strong rally. The one thing that I don't like that it got rejected off this 150 day supply, but for the bulls to really, again, just, just like the, you know, just like the NASDAQ composite, the Qs, what the spies are gonna need to do is gonna need to reclaim this, you know, three, 343 level. If we could just reclaim this 343 level and confirm uh, this this whole channel, this whole congestion zone, and remount this 10-day moving average, that's when the bulls could really start going, and then we could again start talking about uh, potential all-time highs uh, running into the fourth quarter, so forth and so on. But again, one step at a time, one day at a time, one trade at a time. So I really like the action today. Um, I was very very surprised. Um, I like the way structurally the bulls fought back. Didn't like the way they gave it up, but I like the way they, they fought back. And I really like the way they closed and reclaimed the five day moving average. So again, going into tomorrow, again, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent bullish, but I'm bullish, right? There are some names though that I do like. And if they pull the plug guys, look at Amazon. What is wrong with Amazon, right? What is wrong with Amazon? We are like literally one day away from confirming the, you know, the previous channel, there's a lot of room down. Look at Facebook, right? What the hell is wrong with Facebook? Okay, I get it, right? They gapped it up, uh, it got stuffed on supply, and then it lost its five-day moving average. Again, what the hell is wrong with Facebook, right? And so forth and so on. There's a bunch of names like that. So I don't want to turn around and say I'm 100% you know, buy bias tomorrow because we have a lot of names that are just wrong. Like again, Netflix is just wrong, right? Forget about the whole pedophilia situation, but again, there's something wrong, right? There's just something wrong. Again, there was a really good aggressive pivot there as well. So I think case by case, individual names, there are some strong names. Uh, Zoom continues to be very, very strong. Again, uh, reclaimed the five, the 10, uh, took out the previous day's high. You got this whole channel here coming up. We saw, uh, I believe 420 weekly call buyers come in. So very strong there. Tesla, again, guys, congratulations to a lot of guys. I know it's still long Tesla. Again, reclaimed the 10-day moving average. We saw uh, 450 weeklies, 500 weeklies. Again, if this thing confirms tomorrow's uh, price action, this is, look how much room up here, guys. Again, you don't need to be uh, an incredibly experienced trader. I mean, look how much room you have. If you, again, if you believe in the theory, stocks trade from supply to supply and demand to demand, right? So here's supply. It reclaims supply. Look at your next supply zone. Is. So a ton of room ton of potential to upside tomorrow on a lot of names. But again, in the back of my mind, I'm still watching Amazon. I'm still watching Facebook. I'm still watching uh, Netflix for any type of weakness. Um, and I think tomorrow, again, I, 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 the bulls really, even if the market doesn't go up tomorrow and doesn't follow through, the bulls need to kind of you know, hold their serve, okay? They, the, the queues need to close, continue to close above this 275 level. So it's very, very important. But again, I like what I saw today, really good action. So let's talk about this right now. Uh, and again, most important part, uh, most important part, and we, we talked about this yesterday. Uh, again, you know, I'm prepared from both sides, okay? I have no bias for today. I have zero, uh, zero feeling, let the market come to us. Again, we're not that smart. Uh, synopsis, you know, again, I, I, I'll show you. I put longs, I put shorts all over the place. So synopsis, um, I was watching that one name, the level never got even close to there. Uh, Chewy broke down a little bit. I didn't trade any Chewy, number one, because the market was up 300 points. Number two, it was on SSR. If you did take the trade, again, it wasn't a big move here. Uh, 53, 40, 53. Uh, if it builds below, can flush. Here was Chewy. I didn't trade Chewy today. I just, again, I'm not in the camp of shorting stocks, especially when there's a lot of really good value to the upside. But again, you know, I went down to like 52, 40, not a big deal. But again, What's wrong with Chewy, right? Again, you could turn around and make the case, well, the names that were uh, benefiting from the whole uh, stay-at-home movement, they're getting hit. Okay, if you want to roll with that, I'm willing, to, uh, I'm willing to roll with that as well. But again, you could see that a lot of weakness, very, very uh, clean weakness here. Here was, here was at least my trade of the day. So I haven't been really following the whole uh, Nikola story, right? I traded it last week when they had that whole uh, GM investment, right? 
of uh, 11%. So I, I know it was a good move last week because I caught the trade. It was really, really good. But I haven't really followed the kind of the, the story what's been going on. A lot of you guys know this more than I do. The Hindenburg research and the, and the muddy waters and, you know, basically saying, well, the company is just very, very shaky. So I know the stock has been down like $20. And the one thing that I keep on telling everybody, um, stocks don't go straight up and stocks don't go straight down. You could have the greatest stock in the world. If buyers get tired, right, stock's going to come in. Same thing with sellers, okay? If sellers get tired, okay, guys? And, and this is a very, very important point. If sellers get tired, then what's going to happen? The stock is going to eventually blow everybody out that's shorting in the bottom of the channel, late shorters, inexperienced sellers. And what's going to happen? It's going to go higher. So uh, that's what happened today. We saw the exhaustion. We saw this area of support get, get, uh, uh, get uh, defended. And, you know, this is the area I was watching, uh, 3280, 33, if it builds below, can snap back. And I said, basically, look, experienced traders only. There's a ton of bad press. Again, I'm really not, you know, I really have been following that much, but I do understand what an exhaustion, what exhaustion looks like to the sell side. And here is the channel. Here's a 60 minute channel uh, right here. You see this whole channel here, right? This whole channel here is, you see this 3262. So it kept, it kept on getting rejected off here. So I said, look, if this thing can start rebuilding, you know, 3280, 33 can go. And this thing just exploded, absolutely exploded. Some news came out after the close, blah, 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 more bad news. Again, nobody's making uh, comments one way or another of exactly what's going on with the company. We're just talking about a specifically a trade. And this was a very, very good aggressive trade. A call buyer came in uh, for the 36 calls and really, really strong move all the way up to 37. Great job for all you guys. Uh, who did catch the trade. Uh, DraftKings went nuts. Uh, DraftKings did deal with ESPN. Uh, 43 needs to build. You can see here DraftKings went, well, they went, went DraftKings, right? So here is the 43, this whole channel here. It took out 43, just went absolutely nuts. Um, Oracle didn't do anything. Oh, NNOX. I, I didn't have a locate for this thing. Uh, if you did catch a trade, great job. I gave an upside pivot of 65, a downside pivot of 57. Uh, here was NNOX. Right, so here is NNOX right here. Here's a downside pivot here at 57. Just got absolutely destroyed. If you did catch it, congratulations. I just unfortunately didn't have uh, a locate for it. Uh, NVIDIA just went nuts, uh, at least in the beginning. Uh, experienced traders only, 520 needs to build, one point max. It didn't even come close to even stopping anybody out. This thing just absolutely exploded. Uh, here was NVIDIA, right? So here was NVIDIA, here's the 520 right here. You see this? 51980, 51960, 51996, 520 just went absolutely nuts. Uh, put up a $12 candle before uh, selling it off. So that was good. Uh, Beyond went nuts. Uh, 139 needs to build. Again, Beyond have meatless meatballs. Say that again. They have meatless meatballs, right? Here's the whole channel right here. 139, took out 139, absolutely exploded all the way up to 145. So you can see a lot of really good value. Uh, workhorse, same thing, workhorse, uh, 2450, 2475. A buyer came in uh, with, the 26, uh, with the $30 October calls and workhorse closed at the high of the day, right? Closed at the highs, uh, here's, you know, here's the 2450 and it closed right at the $26 area. So big move there uh, as well. So the video exploded. And Netflix, again, this is what we talk about. Whose freaking idea was it the green light, a pedophilia movie on Netflix, okay? 476, if it builds below, can flush. Uh, here was Netflix, right? Here was Netflix, here was the 476, went all the way down to 471. Uh, Overstock, Overstock went up a couple of bucks. I saw it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, take on the way, amazing move. Uh, really solid session. Okay, really, really solid so session, especially uh, this Nikola trade. I was very, very happy with that as well. And Tesla, uh, unfortunately, guys, I forgot to put, if you look at my regular feed, uh, if you look at my regular feed on, on Twitter, uh, I'll show you. I forgot to put it on, on, on the private feed, so I apologize. Um, so there was a big pivot here, okay? There was a big pivot here at 485 here. Let me show you in a second. Uh, let me show you here in a second. Uh, right. So here, there was a big pivot here, okay? There was a million dollar bet. Somebody came in for the October 400 calls. Uh, 385 can stretch it. Uh, it's stretched, okay? It absolutely stretched. Uh, here was 385. Oops, let me just show you. Again, still hasn't, this still damn thing still hasn't uh, updated my e-signal. So here is the 385. You see this channel here, right? 
385, 385, 385. It took out 385 and just went uh, absolutely nuts. I know a lot of you guys are still long this thing overnight. Uh, first close over uh, the 10-day moving average. That is super bullish. We got battery day coming up. People are going to be very, very uh, aggressive and making speculation bets there. So there is a catalyst involved. So guys, have a great, uh, great night. More football today, doubleheader. I'm not burnt out just yet. Uh, please get the morning strategy early tomorrow. And with God's help, I'll see you all there. Take care, guys. God bless.